Secret Agents. This piece by Kevin Olson is one of my favorite in the book. And it's also my students' favorite piece as well. At least one of their favorite pieces. Does this piece sound major or minor? So the students can scan through to look for, oh my goodness, the B flat that we know is in F major. But if they also see the lower third, oh my goodness, there we have the minor key. Plan how you will play with forward direction in every phrase. So if the phrase goes, where is the high point or the phrase goal? It's to the B flat. And then there's a tapering of the phrase afterwards. Right? We wouldn't say something like, um, I think I'll go out today. That's not much of a phrase. If we said, I think I'll go out today, that's a better phrase. We wouldn't say, I think I'll go out today. Right? That would be a big shock at the end of the phrase. So I think I'll go out today. Right? Again, it's to the last B flat that the phrase goal is. wrist first and then of course the fingers and the forearm follows and all that motion comes from the power of the upper arm. All right, so that was Secret Agent. On page 24 and 25 is D major and D minor. Here the students are learning these five finger patterns and their chords and uh, caught a fish alive. <laughs> articulations and fermatas. Oh, what a good exercise. As sure as a stegosaurus, use a heavy arm or arm weight. And again, remember that is like dropping to the bottom of the Grand Canyon. It's a very nice um, portato touch actually uh, for this piece. Gliding like a swan. Here the students are learning again rotation. Rotation is when the hand, wrist, and the arm move from side to side and they move in the same direction at the same time. Rotation is actually one of the more difficult uh, physical gestures to teach a student it's also one of the issues when students get older, if they haven't learned how to do rotation well, they're gonna have a lot of issues with tremolos, any kind of broken octaves. Um, they won't be able to do that so easily. And rotation is actually one of the fastest movements in the pianist's repertoire. So we need to have our students learn this when they're young. So in this particular piece, have our students watch their hand, their forearm, and their wrist all moving in the same direction at the same time. And then one octave higher, and then two octaves higher. It's imperative that they see their four hills on the top knuckles. It's imperative that they play on the outside tip of their thumbnail and it's imperative that they play with an arch in their fifth finger on the pad of their finger. Nice and slowly and fluidly so they can move back and forth. Okay. In the left hand, it's the same gesture. It's probably going to feel more difficult in the left hand. Keep that letter C between fingers and one and two. The next piece is in contrary motion, this little exercise. You can have your students feel like they have a floating arm. And if you would like to use more rotation here, that would be nice. And then we'll add a little bit more of the crescendo and the tapering of the phrase and then drop and roll out of the keys. Be sure that your students play those slowly so that they can really feel
what the feeling is like in their playing apparatus. All right, The Golden Pavilion by Edwin McLean won another really great piece in this book. So you know what? Between the D and the G is where the students could rotate. They could actually rotate between the first two notes, too. Imagine pulling tissue from a tissue box. 